When building our project so far, we have not given much thought to how this would look on different screen sizes. Here we see an example where we have the main content area with a sidebar. This is common for viewing websites on desktops and larger screen devices. But what about mobile or small tablets? If we only have a small screen size, all of these items side by side, like this, may not make sense. If we have less space available, we may want these items to be the full width of the container. Or, as you can see here on smaller sizes, you will often see the sections stacked on top of each other. Here we not only see the items stacked, but we also have the header, main and footer sections stacked too. This generally gives a mobile or tablet user a better experience as the content is optimized for the screen size. One way to do this is to create a website like we've already done for desktops, then create a dedicated mobile and tablet version too. Another popular way is what is called responsive web design. As this sounds, responsive web design is an approach which allows the design to change or respond to not only the screen size, but the orientation and device type too. This means we can use the same code, but with some adjustments based on the device it's been viewed on. We can see the issue if we return back to our project and then resize the browser. If we click on the corner of the browser and then drag it across, we see some responsiveness because we set the sidebar on the left and the main section here to be inline block. But if we make the browser even smaller, we begin to see that the products start to get pushed off the edge of the viewport or the visible area. Google Chrome also has another tool for us to help. If we right click and go to inspect, in the top left hand corner, next to this inspector which we've been using, we also have the device toolbar. So I'll give this a click. If you're not using Chrome, it's not a problem. You can either shrink the browser down to a smaller size like this, or if your browser has a similar viewer, go ahead and open this up. So this will give us a list of popular devices to preview our designs on. We have things such as iPhones, iPads, and also some Android devices. If we look through some of these devices, our site basically looks like a zoomed out version of the desktop site. So let's try a larger screen, such as an iPad. So all we're doing here is just zooming out to fit all the content on the screen. We don't see any content adjusting or stacking like we've seen over in the slides. This is because we've not taken any steps yet to make this site responsive. But this is something we'll start to do in the next video when we take a look at the viewport meta tag.